Um, the I think the the most challenging part of this project really was um, trying to figure out a fit for this community because the community really had lots of diverse ideas, as you might imagine. So it was something that took us a long time to figure out exactly how we'd proceed, and we'd used a lot of different focus groups, and we did a lot of um, we did a lot of tests. We tried a lot of different things before we even decided kind of which direction to go in. So the the main the main thing I think that we all focused on was the idea of bringing light in and making the, the building seem very light. So both with artificial light and and natural light, um, that light was really the most important. Uh, thing that we would do in a building um, and also just the sense that it was open to everyone um, this whole idea of this big glass porch if you will on, on Witherspoon Street was really important to us we really wanted it to be um, something that, that kind of was the antithesis of the old library which had a big wall for the first story and they had these louvers which were great for the west sun but they fixed themselves in kind of a closed position so 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 really you didn't see into the library very much so our, our main thought was to open that up and uh, bring the street and the library kind of uh, together as kind of a, a community space for the, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the town. What's, what's the funnest part of doing a, a large project like this? Or is this a large project for you? Do you do a lot of large projects? We do projects. This is, a, this is a large project. It's not the largest project you can imagine, but it's a complicated project. Um, the funnest part, as you'd say, is the, um, it's really the collaboration with lots of different people. I mean, we're watching a mural go up over here, and the kind of serendipitous um, relationship of that mural to this room in this building will be really great. And these are the kind of things that you can't really predict when you start. So what we did is kind of set in, set in motion an armature that could have a lot of things happen to it and uh, will happen in the future. Um, it's a big open plan building, so things can change pretty radically without really you know, making a big difference for the building itself. And then really the building needs to be flexible because we want it to last for a very long time. That's great. And um, <coughs> whose idea was it? The fireplaces. That is a wild and crazy idea for, for, for a library, isn't it? It's not, actually. Um, a lot of libraries. Um, the, the, the kind of ubiquitous pieces that have, that have come into uh, library design, really, are the idea of making them homey and, and comfortable. Fireplaces are, are springing up in, in lots of libraries. And really, it's a throwback to the kind of the Carnegie libraries and uh, the older libraries where they actually had fireplaces to help heat them. Um, but, but the notion of having cozy sort of spaces and, and fireplaces kind of goes with the idea of having coffee and, uh, and more of a community kind of feel to a building. So the library really is taking its cue from, in part from the retail world, what works in a place like a Barnes & Noble or um, one of those other kind of places also works for a public library. And uh, we just saw, um, Leslie and I went to a to a conference in, in Seattle, we saw a woman say that you know, and traditionally libraries have been about protecting books, and it really needs to be a lot more about getting the books off the shelves and making it kind of a place where people want what you've got. And so kind of creating desire and making this a wonderful place to come to is really what public libraries are about. It really needs to be about making this whole environment something that people really enjoy coming to, want to stay in, and then use really heavily. So that's our job.